There may be times when you have an image of something you'd like to design. Maybe you took a picture with your camera, you took a screenshot of a web page, or you found an image online, and you want to be able to use that as the basis to design something around. In Libre Design, you can use tracing image, which is found in the references section of the model toolbar. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And the first thing that it asks us is the target plane. So in this case, why don't we select the XY plane? And then the next thing is to find an image. So let's click browse. We can select an image and we see that immediately it is shown. Now the rest of this screen is dedicated towards calibrating this image and getting it into the correct orientation. So you can flip it uh, over the axes. You can determine the transparency if uh, you want it to be less transparent or more transparent. And you can change the size. So when we get to the size of things, oftentimes the easiest way to do that is to calibrate the size. And this lets you pick two points, for example, maybe the rough center point between these two things. And if we know what that number should be in the real world, we can type it here. Maybe in the real world, this is six. We can see the image is automatically scaled such that the distance between those two points is now what we typed in. We can also type in an angle. In this case, it would be 38 to get it straight up and down. And we can mess with the offset. Um, we can do it manually or we can select two points. And it will be offset by that amount. At this point, we can press OK. And now how do we use this thing? Well, we can enter into sketch mode and we can start to uh, design around it. Now, if we were doing this for real, you know, we would pay a lot more attention to the angle and the offset, try to get these things to line up really well with the center point probably. Uh, but in our case, you know, we're not, not going to do that. So you can kind of get an idea roughly of, you know, the, the approach that you might take here. Right? And you can just do whatever sketch-based things that you need to do and then create features off of those and then rinse and repeat. So you can do this process repeatedly for different kinds of features. Uh, and you can also have more than one um, image at a time. So if you wanted to, let's say you had this the same picture, but from a different angle, from a right angle, right? you could attach that to this, calibrate it the same way. And now uh, when you're looking from this end, you have the front on view. Um, so this is a super powerful tool if you have the right pictures to use. The final thing that we'll talk about is how to manage these over time. So if we have a tracing image here and we've done everything we need to do uh, that we care about in a tracing image and we want to kind of proceed forward with the rest of the part, this thing's going to get in the way. So at any time, we can go over here and find the tracing image that we want, right click and select hide. And that'll just temporarily hide the tracing image. Or let's say we have a bunch of tracing images and we don't want to see any of them. Well, we can hover over the tracing images node and select toggle tracing images, and that'll turn all of the tracing images off.